Happening Wednesday, Teamsters, the union which represents roughly 340,000 UPS workers, they say they're going to resume contract negotiations. And this follows a two week stalemate working to resolve issues like better pay and better working conditions. Congressional members are speaking out about the possible strike. WNY Washington correspondent Rachel Knapp reports. UPS workers across the nation have been staging so-called practice pickets to put pressure on UPS to show what could come if a deal isn't reached by July 31st. Teamsters, the union representing the hundreds of thousands of UPS workers, recently announced they're resuming negotiations with UPS as workers demand for better pay for part-time workers, benefits, and better working conditions like installing air conditioning in vans. It's totally unacceptable, especially for our part-time members, because we're trying to help them out. Congressional members are speaking out about this. New York Senator Kirsten Gillibrand, Pennsylvania's John Fetterman and Bob Casey, and Michigan's Debbie Stabenow and Gary Peters all signed a letter to the Team Search General President and UPS Chief Executive Officer to reach a contract agreement that provides all UPS workers fair wages, safe working conditions, affordable health care, and dignified retirement. The letter says the senators affirm their support for workers to exercise their right to a strike if an equitable collective bargaining agreement cannot be reached. They also add that Congress will not intervene in the collective bargaining process between Teamsters and UPS. Senator Bob Casey says he'll stand alongside workers and their right to fight for fair contracts, adding these workers keep our economy moving by delivering goods to our homes and businesses. These workers, including over 12,000 Pennsylvanians, deserve to have a voice in the workplace. If a strike happens, it could trigger the largest work stoppage in over half a century and impact the package delivery system many Americans depend on. In Washington, D.C., Rachel Knapp reporting.